since they have terrestrialized sloking into a fairy type they don't have any magma storm surgeons right now aside from arcanine so let's see what they'll do here arcanine oh let's go arcanine is gone oh my god that was goated that was actually goated holy <laughs> How's it going everyone? Welcome to HPL Semi-Finals. For those who don't know what HPL is, it is a team tournament named Hindi Premier League that is hosted by the Indian community on Smogan. It consists of 8 teams in total with 14 players each who compete for a chance to win a custom avatar on Pokemon Showdown. And after playing for 7 weeks, me and my team Gujarat Goldengos has now reached the playoffs where we are facing against our opponent Chennai Super Kirams. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, this is the first game of semi-finals week of HPL and my teammate Thiago News is playing. They have brought a sticky webs team and my opponent, not my opponent, I have a habit of saying that, but <laughs> their opponent or his opponent has brought a very bulky team. Probably everything has boots if I had to guess. So the sticky webs thing doesn't really matter uh, at best maybe Darkrai doesn't have boost boots not boost boots but I highly doubt it I think everything might just have heavy duty boots in this game so uh, webs won't matter that much but it's not that we're gonna lose the game because we have incredible Pokemon like Raging Bolt that can really really damage uh, uh, the opponent's team like they don't have good raging bolts which is the be best they can do is uh, try to navigate between thunderbolt and dragon pulse by going into gliscor and clefable or maybe if that's an av mirror coat alo that could work uh, or maybe they decide to terra then moth looks incredibly good as well depending on its uh, move set if it has dazzling gleam that would be great if it's Terra Ghost to avoid uh, uh, to avoid extreme speed. That could be something. Terra Ghost, Terra Blast also deal with deals with Dragapult. So we do lead with Brybombi just to get the webs up. Because in case they do, any of the mons don't have boots, or we in case we are able to knock their boots off by Valiant. I don't know. Valiant could have knockoff. It could be as the knockoff variant. So yeah, it would work that way. We do stun spore because if Dragapult stay in, stays in, we would like to stun spore that. That's fine. I mean, a moon blast there would have been fine too, but in case, since they are literally just uh, flip turning anyways, it doesn't matter. And we can fire off a psychic noise. I mean, we don't have switchings unless that's a balloon. Yeah, or oh, we don't have psychic noise. Most likely, I would rather hit psychic noise. I mean, I guess Moonblast into Psychic Knife matters more, maybe. They get spikes up, protect. We just Moonblast again. Yeah, they could be skill swap. I mean, not every Rai Bomb belongs to Psychic Noise. You either run skill swap for Hatrine or Psychic Noise for Glamora. Yeah, it is Moonblast. So, I mean, this Rai Bomb is also like giving a lot of damage to the opponent i mean two moon blasts on alo it stayed paralyzed great alo is incredibly low now unless they are able to get a wish off here they that is definitely a spdef alo uh, actually i think it might be max defense max spdef instead of hp yeah oh no 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 the roll doesn't uh actually yeah maybe i don't have the team paste the team pa oh alamamla stayed paralyzed let's go <laughs> now they either switch out or let the alo die that is great anyways i was saying that i don't have the paste for the team uh, news is using but it might be the defensive ribombi that is for surviving a boots v balls a triple axle uh, so yeah, that, it might be that said. That's why we're doing less damage than usual to Alo. Oh, we do have Psychic Noise. I wonder why we didn't click that on uh, Gliscor. But I mean, Moonblast into Poison Heal damage and Psychic Noise negating the Poison Heal damage. I think it would do the same amount of damage to be honest. But 
uh, yeah that's great i mean they are struggling so much against this rai bombay it's insane <laughs> it's actually insane how how much they're struggling against this thing because just because i don't know a pair stayed paralyzed for two turns that's that, that's just great man that's just great now we click psychic noise because even if they protect oh wow they u-turn man honestly i would have just clicked psychic noise in case because we don't know what kind of set this this thing is we don't know if it's u-turns or what it is just attack and earthquake and knock off or whatever so like just negating the health so they can keep protecting every time is just better in my opinion but it works too because they are st they still haven't been able to deal with Y bombi now they can uh if this uh yeah this probably has hacks and hack skills so and now they can deal with it but so far gliscor is at eight percent alomomola is at uh, 39 percent and clefable is at 41 percent <laughs> could not have asked for a better first 12 turns you don't see that often rai bombi staying in for 12 turns <laughs> you don't see that ever actually i don't know I think the opponent really underestimated Rai Bombi and they just kind of... Well, to be fair, they didn't underestimate it. Alomomola was a fine play. It's just that it stayed paralyzed. You know, nothing you can do about it. Sometimes it just happens and I'm glad it happened. <laughs> so we go this for Hex. Okay, we decided to save Rai Bombi. Interesting. I guess we want to keep the Psychic Noise and Moonblast thingy. Uh, Dragon Dart skills, Draco Meter kills, so I'm guessing we're just gonna Terra here. Because I don't understand this sack. Terra bug, yeah. Makes sense. So this uh, is a free... This is a free... Honestly, a Dragon Pulse. Because if, if they go Clef, they just die next turn. Yeah. It's they they're definitely taking their time because you know the first couple of turns really just disturb their momentum completely disturb their momentum the two paras and allo gliscor not being able to do anything to ride bombay because it's earthquake u-turn i hate u-turn gliscor sets i don't think they're good i just don't think they're good i don't know i mean sure momentum is cool but not for me, not on a mon like Glesco. Glesco has much more better things to do than just u turn out and become set up fodder. Yeah, they sack Glesco. I just don't like u turn Glesco. Anyways, they decided to sack Glesco, right? Now, what are they gonna go into? One thing is that we have all we have used the terra already. So we really have to keep that Balloon Goldingo alive so Dragonite doesn't extreme speed sweep us. And uh, yeah, aside from that, I think Iron Moth really just goes into their team. Now that Gliscor is gone, Alamomala is low, Dragonite is forced to like break, a, break its multi-scale. This E Speed does not kill, Ice Spinner does not kill, Earthquake does not kill. The multi scale is gone, Ice Spinner. Take an extreme speed here, or we can try to go Goldengo if we want to. But I would rather just sag this and then go Goldie because it just gets a free hit off, right? It just gets a free Shadow Ball off. I'll make it rain off too if we're expecting Dark, right? Yeah, so now we can go Goldengo for free, especially if it's a offensive Goldengo with Balloon. So we'll be faster than this Dragonite and we'll be able to knock it out. Gotta worry about their Terra though. Okay, looks like it might be offensive. I I really like offensive Goldengo on Sticky Web teams. Not that I don't like the TV variants. I don't think we need those on Sticky Webs at least. Alamomola, did we Shadow Ball? We Dazzling, okay. Okay, we have Dazzling Gleam, that's a great mid ground. The crit sucked, because <laughs> now they're literally at the same amount of health if they switch out. But they just sack it, yeah, expected. Expected. Darkrai comes in, it is Boots. Uh, we could go Moth, 
But I think it I think it doesn't do. We could sack Rai Bombi since Alo is dead now. We could sack Rai Bombi and go moth now because Dragonite's uh, multi scale is gone. Thing is, we will still have to take the. We will still have to take the Dark Pulse at least once. Actually, why do you even need to go moth? Valiant actually goes in. Yeah, Valiant goes in right now. Valiant would force the Terra out, Moth, prob yeah we do Sakurai Bombay, we gotta keep Goldengo so Dragonite doesn't sweep us, Extreme Speed Dragonite is a threat, especially cause yeah, uh, as I said yeah I mean the first play was definitely better, oh we're, oh we're booster special attack, I guess that makes sense in a web steam, but uh, this Dark Pulse, ouch, I just hate whenever your mon is slower against Dark Rai, man. It feels like it has Serene Grace or something. Don't, don't. No, why did I say that? Why did I say that? <laughs> oh no, that. It's alright. Yeah, of course they get the higher roll too. Of course they get the higher roll there. Man, come on, bro. Come on. We need to glare this thing. We need, really need to glare this thing. That sucked. I hope we're booster speed valiant because if we're not this is going to be bad because we won't be faster than drag about and I don't like that okay we did click glare as expected this leaf storm most likely knocks this clef out right uh, they probably go drag apart since it survives a hit I just hope Valiant is booster speed because if it is the game might be over. If Valiant is booster speed the game might be over depending on their Terra of course because they do have a Terra left. This is still this is still so tricky man. It'd be nice if we have Drag Dragon Pulse on this. I mean we could still click Glare but the problem with Glare is that you turn uh, yeah, U-turn into extreme speed could kill us if they get uh, a couple of high rolls. Oh, definitely extreme speed is killing us. The rocky helmets are... Did we click Dragon Pulse? Do we have Dragon Pulse? It'd be nice if we do. Oh, we glared. Okay. Okay. The roll is in our favor. A little bit. Roll is in our favor. Please, please stay paralyzed. Or we could... Mm, Oh yes, let's go with the roll. Our oh, Terra Blast variant. Okay, makes sense. I mean, I would personally just use Dragon Pulse because Volcanona doesn't exist anymore. And Heatran are all Heatran. I mean, Heatran is UU now, so I guess I guess Moltres is the biggest threat. But I mean, you know, Terra Dragon Dragon Pulse could work on that too after some boosts. So. Now it all, it's all on Valiant. Please be booster speed. Valiant, please be booster speed. We could, right now we could go Goldengo actually, cause, cause Hex doesn't kill us. And, and uh, Dazzling Gleam would do a lot. But we decide to go Valiant, please booster speed. No, it's booster attack. Oh no. I don't like this. Ah, that's bad. That's why I don't use these uh, these uh, no speed boosting mons and sticky webs because it doesn't work. Sticky webs is not a good thing in in this gen anyway. So you need speed boosting mons even without sticky webs. Only way it works is is if uh, you just uh, uh, like only way you use sticky webs effectively is like. Okay, it just works for a couple of mons in your team because we just lose now. Yeah, man. You would never see me if I'm using Sticky Web, which I rarely use. I would never. I would at least have one Pokemon that is booster speed or really fast in my team because because heavy du duty boots exist. You are really hoping that opponent wouldn't have a heavy duty boots drag apart in your team. That's that, that's just stupid, in my opinion. I'm not saying like my. I'm not like. 
blaming my teammate i mean they just used the team it's just unfortunate that they had a matchup this bad but i'm just saying my preference because boots exist i at, at least have one pokemon that's really fast in your sticky webs team so this is game five my teammate squirtle nar nar is playing and it's the masters format which is basically a best of three consisting of generations six seven and eight and right off the bat the opponent has lost a mon that is landorus which was normal gem explosion i didn't know gems were allowed in gen 8 that's interesting that's really interesting but let's see how it uh, unfolded uh, it's gonna be carton and lead versus heatran so kind of a lead in our favor did we click just click your option or okay we got rocks that makes sense we did click eruption and they ended up clicking explosion breaking our balloon but we got rocks up and the garchomp comes in we go tapu fini which is a great i mean switch in against that thing no not really no <laughs> that's an offensive garchomp i think we're a scarf here i mean if it didn't take leftovers then that's definitely scarf so we'll be tricking something I mean, the opponent might expect it and go Magnezone, but not sure if Magnezone will be choice locked or not. Because usually, uh, not usually, but most of the time, it's the body press variant, right? Since hidden power doesn't exist in Generation Eight. So Moonblast comes in. We did not track anything, and we just Moonblasted the Garchomp and lost the Feeny. I guess that's fine too. We get to go hollow a Misty Seed. Oh, you rarely see Misty Seed, but they have it, which is quite interesting. What are we gonna do though? Are we gonna just attack? I would say we just attack. I mean, they don't have that many bulky Pokemon that can take hits, like a number of hits, right? Even if they go Feeny, it will get chipped down. And we also have a Spadef Ray. So if they go Feeny, we'll surely take a hit, unless it's an offensive Feeny. Since that Garchomp looks like it's offensive, but then again, Scale Shot has to hit five times, and even then, it might not knock us out. No, it will. Okay, five hits will, will surely knock us out, but it has to hit five times. Is that risk worth? Is that worth it? Then again, if it hits four times, we might die to Rough Skin, which is also something we need to uh, pay attention to, right? You can't just SDN use a contact move and just uh, die to rough skin. Let's see what they decide. I would just attack personally, like acrobatic skills, this card charm, so let's just take it out. Kind of that. Oh, we go for SD. They missed a scale shot. Okay, this game might be Joe, actually. It might be on the verge of being Joe. I don't, I'm not sure if Feeny survives a plus to I guess if it's defensive yes but it's still it wouldn't kill us with this spedef raise that was a very risky SD if they got four hits or five hits Halicha would have died but I mean I'm all up for it I mean they missed so now we have a game most likely have this game in the bag yeah Acrobatics, rough skin. Most likely have this game in the bag. Uh, don't think this Feeny. Okay, actually, if this has Moonblast, it might knock us out. Actually, Moonblast. No, 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 no. Nope, nope. Yeah, Moonblast doesn't knock us out unless they have a special attack investment. If they have a special attack investment, then yes, a uh, completely. Uh, uh, defensive Feeny or Spadef Feeny with no special attack investment basically doesn't knock us out with Moonblast. One option they have is to fish for Scarred Bonds. That could be an angle for them if they can click Scarred because they might just lose anyway. They might just lose anyway. Raining Kiss. Okay, that shouldn't give them much. Yeah. Mm, I think this game might be over okay they're trying 
Rocky helmet? Oh, it's helmet. Okay, no. Yeah, makes sense. Now they have a way to just uh, navigate through this. I mean, even if they lose a mon or two, Holocha won't sweep at least. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter if they, we lose defenses because we knock everything out from this range. Uh, the only way they have is to keep going Magna Zone, so uh, Rocky Helmet. We get chipped down by Rocky Helmet. How much did Rocky Helmet do? It does 13%, right? Or does it do more? It does 16? Uh, oh, it does 16.5. Yeah, right? Yeah, 16.5. Iron Bob's is the one that's lower. Iron Bob's and Ruskin is the one that's lower, I believe. I think one of them is 1 by 6 and one of them is 1 by uh, 8. So they switched daily and went into Magna Zone and we just, okay. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they, that makes sense. But we still have uh, our ability to get Veil up and we have a couple of months. Still not over though since Rocky had they navigated through the Rocky helmet magnet zone really well. Patana comes in, so this is gonna give this thing a attack raise, which is not great. Hope but hopefully it's like locked in or something and Dragapult gets a free switch in. Unless we're nasty enough to just go drag apart hard on this Kartana, that would be something. They definitely don't have specs uh, drag apart surgeons. Uh, the problem is Lele. Lele being Scarf would be really bad. Kartana wouldn't be as bad as Lele. They Sacred Sword. That's an attack raise. Drag apart comes in. So we have a free Shadow Ball here. Whether it's Scarf or not Scarf, Kartana cannot touch it. So they either sack Feeny and reveal that Lele is Scarf, or they sack Kartana and hope Lele survives, I guess. Not sure if it does. I think that Lele is extremely, not Lele, I keep saying Lele, Feeny, I mean. I think that Feeny is extremely defensive because it only took 47 from a plus two Lucha. Yeah, that is definitely... Oh, we clicked... What? Why didn't we... Oh, maybe we were physical. Oh, that's... Uh, is that... I mean, us being life orb is actually really good, but I, I think we're physical. So, I guess we get a free phantom force here. Kinda. Right, it should knock this thing out, even with leftovers recovery. You must be DD, uh, DD, Dragon Darts, Phantom Force, Slainthrower with Life Orb. Yeah, it's a Veil team, so having a DD set makes more sense. Yeah, I didn't pay attention to that. So let's see how this unfolds. Okay, we do go Nine Tails, yeah. Makes sense, right? Yep, the training kiss, we get a free, free Veil, veil up. Yeah, draining us again. We just freeze dry this, knock this thing out. Yeah, nice. This thing goes down, and I think we'll have enough veil turns in the end because it's not like they can set up with Cardana. Well, I don't think Cardana is set up, but. Lele, because even if they do, guard jump would be faster, like Dragapult would be faster. Five turns and a dream. Can they stall five turns and then proceed to win with a Scarf Kartana? Is that possible? I don't think so. But depends on how this goes. What kind of Lele this is. We clicked Veil for some reason. Why did we just not chip this down? That's weird. They're trying to stall the Veil turns. Oh, misclicked. That sucks. Oh, we froze him. This is the chance, I guess. Or is it? Okay, now maybe. 
training is life orb the life orb lane i think we win now right or unless it's a speed tie right now but their scarf they're probably they're gonna reveal that their scarf right but does a plus one leaf blade kill dragapult i think so especially after rocks wow that doesn't do anything to dragapult oh i'm calking whale oh no 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 that's not up anymore yeah a plus one leaf blade would kill the dragapult outside whale and it might also knock the guard jump out so we're basically in a really bad position right now March oh they're not locked in okay we win then oh no they are they clicked smart strike oh oh wait what they are scarf they are scarf they clicked smart strike should have like, gone for leave blade because dragapult dies yeah i think they should have gone for deep blade so now we have the gen 6 ou game and my teammate has brought a talent flame and the opponent has a pretty offensive team actually i'm not sure if i like this matchup i mean they have Peter for talent flame they've got Surp, which could be uh, we have to save talent flame for surf i surf i think or Weavile, then we do have Slowbro for Keldeo, which is good as a surgeon, especially if the Slowbro is Psy Shock. Scizor is somewhat good in this game if it's able to, if Keldeo is chipped and it's able to get plus two, then it's actually great, especially if it's a defensive Scizor. We actually nailed the lead, which is great. We get to go for a free leaf storm nothing is faster than surf that's the biggest uh plus of leading with surf actually at max they would have could have led with uh u-turn land of its scarf right and then we can just scout because we have a slow bro for that thing yeah but then again uh if then they go t-tar and what if they have pursuit and all that so yeah, it would have been tricky. We did nail the lead and then we instantly go X cutter. Expecting scarf maybe? Maybe a switch in. We go ro get rocks up. Okay. They get do the same. Don't they just U turn out now and go T tar? I guess we were afraid of just losing Serp to a bandit T-Tar because it wouldn't die to Leaf Storm and we would. Uh, that's probably the case. Yeah, makes sense. I mean, Serp is actually really good this game, so we would want to preserve it. Did we click Scald? Can we get a burn, please? A critical hit, no burn though. What are our switches to this thing? Best is x Cotrill on the Hyper Voice that's coming out right now. Oh, they doubled to Keldeo on the Scizor. Interesting. The leftover Keldeo, so this should be a free slow bro now, unless it doesn't have Psy Shock, because Calm Mind Substitute Keldeo would beat a slow bro without Psy Shock. We go Serp. Okay. This card. Nope, nope, nope. Oh no. The burn man. Come on. We clicked the scarred on Guard of War. It didn't get burned. That sucks. They go Sarp now. The synthesis. Okay, that's something. Dude, we just hate seeing this trash 12% uh, burn damage. It's so it's so bad. It's so bad. It makes playing so incredibly hard. Leaf Storm, we glare, yeah, makes sense. Hopefully, the Serpier stays paralyzed a couple of times. We don't have much switches, we do go Talon Flame. Oh, it stayed paralyzed, thank god. 
now this is tricky do we go for will-o-wisp or do we go for roost i mean either way this tyranitar that that's lingering around that can pursue the talent flame it's extremely annoying okay we can can we no that's leftovers okay we can get a will of this nope yeah don't press the stone edge makes sense the u-turn though that's bad peter comes in now it can trust you trap i think this matchup is extremely bad for uh nar my teammate i i just think so i mean they have stuff to trap they have really powerful stuff caldeo and serpier combination is really bad i mean look at this that bandit crunch oi and they just go into a free land rush. We will have to spin. The iron head. Okay, we got a flinch. Got some leftovers recovery. Come on, flinch again. Hell yeah, hell yeah, let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Again, again, again. Oh, X Cuddle, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's on fire it's on fire let's go nope you don't you you don't say that after clicking uh, three iron heads in a row buddy you know no, no. <laughs> you wanted those you were wishing for those come on be honest rock team okay now it won't won't be flinching anymore all right can we pursue nope knock off we probably click knock yeah get the leftovers out nice now we get to go into slow bro which should take every hit since this is not scarf they double to t-tar oh my oh my my they crunch we lose the slow bro expecting pursuit but they got us maybe they didn't i mean it's still a free rapid spin for us right now so that kind of makes sense too yeah they, i expected them to stay in to be honest we are like we are forced to we are forced to rapid spin there it's expected definitely makes sense can Cesar still win yes Yes, a Mega Scizor, if it gets enough boosts, it can win. Card over comes in, so that's gonna get knocked out. Oh, we missed. Well, that's just one less turn of sand. Actually, I don't know if that was bad, but this thing is dead, regardless. Yeah, I think it was because they, they can't go x right now. They'll have to go either Caldi or T-Tar. Caldeo comes out. Can we flinch this cat? I mean, we have Serp as a switching Sorta. It would die to... S oh, we're going... Oh, we crit them! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh no, that's insane. I was hoping for flinch, but we don't need those. We don't need those, baby. <laughs> oh, that's such a good crit, man. Oh, that is beautiful. That, I love that crit, man. That was insane. Come on, flinch, flinch. Oh no, we lost Weavile. Is, was that a good thing, losing Weavile? I'm not sure. Okay, we go Serp. We... Yep, get a free kill right now with Leaf Storm. Nothing's faster than Sarpir, which is really good. I mean, they'll have to sack Kitar and go back to Excuttle. But even then, Excuttle is in range of Bullet Punch, so we're kind of chilling. The only problem would be the Sarpir coming in, but we have Synthesis. We might be Rocky Helmet Sarp too. So we could potentially go for a synthesis and they click now, nah, but we need the boost. No, we need the boost. I think we just go for Leaf Storm because Titar would die, so would Landorus, and then it's only Serpier. We can click synthesis once if we need to, or we can just uh, hidden power twice and hope for. Oh, we have a Talon Flame. Yeah, actually, I forgot about that. We have a free Talon Flame. 
that just fires off a brave bird here and then a potentially a will o wisp into tyranitar depending on what kind of set this talent flame is running yep oh it survived so they glare us nope they did not glare for some reason that's interesting maybe they're sub leech or maybe they're synthesis or substitute or something no idea but if they were glare you always glare there Mm, I don't think we kill this, but we go for Bon, okay. They got rocks up. I think we- oh, this is Rock Tomb, right? Hmm. This shouldn't kill. Yeah, we can stall this Landris out with just- uh, with just, uh... Or we don't need to. Actually, we have one, right? We just whisk this. We shouldn't be slower than Peter, no way. No, we are, okay. Well, Pel is or plus Serpier wins anyways. Yeah. That was, that was beautiful, honestly. That was beautiful. Stone Age does kill. No, it doesn't kill. That not Bandit. I feel like Bandit would have killed. That might be Scarf then. Not sure. But hey, I am glad that we won. That, that critical hit <laughs> was just the nicest thing that could have happened that game to us and i'm glad so this is the ubers game for hpl my teammate is luna's band now now i have no idea what these mons are doing and what is a good matchup but nothing i am just here to watch <laughs> i don't even have anything to analyze because i have never touched ubers except that one time when i did a video using Venusaur. so i really just i am completely clueless uh, about how uh, Ubers works, so let's just see. Tinglu lead into Miraidon, which is obviously a bad matchup. I mean, Miraidon versus Tinglu, you, you know, uh, Electric versus Dragon. Then they go Coridon, we get Spikes up, and they go Flutter main. I guess expecting Lando, maybe, or maybe expecting something else. I'm not sure. I mean, looking at what Coridon does, like. Uh, fighting in dragon. I guess they just expected Lando and went into this thing which completely destroyed it apparently with life orb. Yeah, that crit definitely mattered. That is insanely bad actually. Hope, hope, I hope we have, we are like, haven't lost the game or anything because they moonblasted. We would have knocked them, them out with this uh, earthquake if we were earthquake or anything like that. So that crit is immensely bad. How are we going to proceed to that? This thing is booster speed. My god, it must. I guess. I mean, I guess Ubers is just too fast. So they need booster speed to cover that. Zacian comes in. Must be faster, must take a move, I guess. Oh, it's a steel fairy type. Okay. Lando comes in, intimidates us. We click sword stance. Let's go. Nice. We got them there. I don't know if that still kills. Maybe with life orb or something. If we... No, no, this thing. Terra flying behemoth blade. Rocky helmet. The U turn, though. Ah, that's bad. That's bad. I, I, I had hoped they clicked out quick there. I don't know I don't know how this game is going but I I just feel bad because we're one more down I mean I have no idea if <laughs> if we have what we have on our mods and if are, are we gonna win this game but like I just on the fact that we are one Pokemon down I just feel bad and we have also bond our Terra and they have not man that crit did it really have to be that crit man come on we're trying to win here we're already Q3 Anyways, they're taking a lot of time, so looks like this session feels like it's sweeping right here. It might be sweeping, bruh. It's about to sweep or what? They're taking a million seconds already. Wait a minute, timer wasn't on all this time, bro. They took they, they took this long and the timer wasn't on. They go Koridon. 
are they going to sack this i believe we get a kill it would most likely be landorus then uh, even if it is landorus oh it is scarf go right on okay yeah it, it is landorus but even then uh we're plus one and i believe we knocked everything out unless king gambit uh no no this thing lo should learn a fighting type move and i don't know if king gambit comes in and knocks this thing out with the maybe if it's black glasses well actually they can go right on right now since it's scarf and pretty much get a kill with the yeah, they can go Coridon and click Dragon Claw to knock us out because they get the Sun boost. Yeah, the power boost from Sun. Okay, they click Player Blitz. No Dragon Claw. Maybe they don't have it. They're locked into a fire move though, so maybe this is a free Miraidon? And they do have an Arceus Drown, so maybe it's not. It's a free Coridon. Yeah, I was gonna say that too, right? Like both dragon types are kind of free. I wonder what kind of Coridon this is. It's a flare blitz. Uh, are you scarf? I guess they expected either Gambit or like anything aside from Miraidon. Either Gambit or Fluttermane, right? They must have expected that because. Uh, we can't touch Fluttermane with both of our stab moves. Yeah, I mean, we do have a free Tingliff here. The Dragon Balls. Oh, wow. When it's Miraidon, it's not as free, I guess. Because Tingliff took, just took 38% from a Dragon Balls. Life of Dragon Balls. We got Spikes up. Okay, they're getting chipped down by Life Orb. Looks like we are a Scarf Coridon. I guess we just U-turn out here. I'm guessing it might come down to a Coridon versus Coridon. We Flare Blitz. Don't they just bring Coridon in now though? Seems like they are willing to... Oh, they're willing to go for a speed tie. They won the speed tie, of course. The crit turn won when Fluttermane would have been would have died. And now they also win the speed tie. Beautiful. This game is just so bad. This game is just so bad. There are stellar Shadow Ball. That leaves Arceus at 1%. Crazy. I don't like this. I don't know if we can still win or not, but I don't think we can. Unless Miraidon really pulls some miracles and knocks that Arceus ground out. And, and I don't know, beats somehow beats the Scarf Coridon. Right now we are faster than everything. We kill this Fluttermane right now, then they would have no other choice. Unless Arceus ground survives, uh, probably does. I mean, it's an Arceus. They'll have to go Gambit and... I mean, it's, we'll re, we will really have to do those sucker 50-50s against Gambit. If they don't go Arceus, they do go Gambit. Okay, win, win the 50-50s, baby. Come on, win the 50-50s. Oh, okay. They lost turn one. <laughs> uh, they lost the 50-50s turn one. Yeah, this game should be over, I think. I don't just see any way Miraidon knocks uh, Arceus ground out, may I mean, maybe with the Calm Minds, but you have to knock this King Gambit out first, they just scout out anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Those two turns were just so crucial, the crit on Fluttermane because it would have died there and then the speed that Now we're, what, 2-4? Ah, that's, that's great. That is great. Okay, Sun. That's bad because they have a hat rain. That's actually really bad. Because they ended up having a hat rain, so I can't get webs up. But moth speed moths especially looks great. I can't recklessly click webs because moth is my only way to win. 
and even then they have a moth themselves so I am not running Terra Ground I don't have Dazzling Gleam either King Gambit actually might be the best way to win if I can somehow get rid of Tusk. L we'll see, let's just lead the rack in it. I'll just liquidation. I mean, they, yeah, they can never do that. Eject button though? It is eject button. Roaring Moon comes out. It's booster speed, most likely a choice band variant. Outrage does knock me out. Knock off will knock my cuss tap out. Hmm, they would probably U-turn though. Is it gonna be not? They can never risk getting webs up though. They should... If they do click Outrage, I... I mean, they should click Outrage, right? I don't think I lose anything by clicking Endure. Let's just click Endure. No, they you don't. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. I mean, I'm sh technically, I should have clicked that, but Outrage was something to you. Bather Ball doesn't do anything. They encore me now. Hmm. They do encore me now. Let's use Raging Bolt to get some kills. Yeah, if I can use Raging Bolt to get rid of Roaring Moon and Tusk, that would be great. I mean, encore is coming, that's for sure. Yeah, nice. Now it's a 50 50. I think their sack would always be Hatrine. They would never risk this because I have a free Dragon Pulse, so I'm just gonna Thunderbolt here. They should never go Dusk here. They should never go Dusk here. Yeah, they sack Hatrine. Okay. Now I do have Indiorca stabs, but the problem is I cannot get knocked off by Roaring Moon, so I can never let Roaring Moon be near me. Hmm. This banded outrage is coming. I cannot survive that with the ghost. Actually, I can. They would never click knock. Should I just get rid of this? So that Arachnid just gets a gets a free webs up. Like what do they click here? Here's the thing though, right? If they do click Outrage and knock my Raging Bolt out, I go Arachnid, click Endure. Even if they go get confused, I just get webs up. Right? Yeah. I think I just Dragon Pulse here. Knockoff doesn't... What if they have Earth? They usually don't run Earthquake though. Even if they have Earthquake, I get webs up because Arachnid wouldn't die to Earthquake. So yeah, let's just Dragon Pulse. That's the play. They u -turn. Knew it. Knew it. They can never risk Arach Arachnid getting a free switch in now. They can never risk that. And we play that to our advantage. They can never let Arachnid get a free switch in. Wow. That I did not expect. They should be... Oh, that's not out of range. That's booster speed though. Dazzling Gleam doesn't kill me, so doesn't Sludge Brave. Uh, we just go for Dragon Pulse here. Moth being gone is actually really good. Now I'll need to worry about either get webs up or get rid of that Roaring Moon. Yeah, they get the Sludge Wave. Moth goes down. They can also never click Outrage actually because Enamorous would just claim them. That's also true. That is a booster speed dusk, so we just sack uh, sack this. The ice spinner makes sense. Booster speed dusk. Even sun boost wouldn't. Uh... I'm guessing I am going for webs here because I have Terra Ghost to prevent the spin. 
and they lose the booster speed here anyways. I don't die to any of the moves here so we just get webs up and once cust tab activates and sun goes down I just get a free liquidation on this tusk. I will terra ghost though if tusk is in front of arachnid I am clicking terra ghost. Once everything's speed goes down all I need to worry about is their terra. All I need to worry about is their terra because enamorous looks beautiful after that. They do go Roaring Moon. They'll probably just knock off here, so I think I'll just Endeavor, yeah. Makes sense, makes sense. Is it fine? I need to get some calcs in. I need the Terra Stellar calcs here. Uh, Enamorous, Choice Scarf variant, but with Choice Specs. Terra Blast. We are contrary, right? Yes, we are contrary. Yeah, Stellar versus uh, Roaring Moon. Choice Band, Sun variant. Terra Blast, Stellar does 65 after plus 1. It does 98. Hmm. But what if I click it right now, right? They're locked in a knockoff. Knockoff into knockoff would never kill me once I lose the item. Yes. And they're always scared about that, so. I think I should do it. Terra Stellar, Terra Blast, I think just wins. No, like Wake. Plus Calc versus Wake. Yeah. Plus one, all I need is plus one. We are contrary to. Oh, they go nine tails. We, I get plus two here. Mind that, I get plus two. And Stellar Terra Blast is act, actually super effective against Terra Admon, so they can't Terra either. I think I win. Plus two, baby. And everything slower than Enam with the speed drop. I think I win. It's not like they can Terra Steel or Terra Ghost because it's stellar, it hits every type, it's super effective against Terra Demons and I get, keep getting the boost. Roaring Moon doesn't die to plus one but it does die to plus two and I get plus two right now. Yeah. Yep. Come on baby. This is it. This is it. I think I win. I think I kill this. I do think I kill this. Come on. Come on. No! Oh wait. Oh, that's perfect. I win now. Oh, they didn't have Iron Head. They didn't click Iron Head. Why not? That doesn't make sense, but I win. I mean, even if they have Terra, everything's slow. Yeah. And Terra Blast Stellar is super effective against Terra Demands, as I said before. We just Terra Blast here. Yep, GG. That's a GG. <sighs> okay, 3 4. Baby, Terra Stellar Enamorous, baby. Oh man, the Raging Bolt plays were just goated. <laughs> <laughs> now I hope we at least I am hoping that we win the week but at least tie at least tie three games left score is 3-4 we have to win all three of the, the games my god that was such a game so this is the second last game in HPL semifinals my teammate meme dose is playing and the score right now is four wins each so this is really intense and this game is really important if we win this we will uh, if we win this the opponent will have all the pressure on them because they'll have to die anyways since the meta changed uh, with last tier shifts and like mods like heatran and uh, skarmory and uh, 
a couple of other mods like Lotsa and Blissey are in UU now. So meta is completely different. Stall has become really prominent in uh, Gen and UU. So it would be interesting to see how this unfolds, right? They obviously have Skarmory and Heatran. Uh, a bunch of I do see a lot of stall breaking potential on both sides. Anyways, turn one, we we both led with Sloking, but we decided to switch out into a Thunderous to take the Thunder Wave, which is quite great. I can't really tell who has the better matchup. To be honest, oh wow, Sludge Bomb Poison, that's impressive. <laughs> that's really lucky. I mean, turn one Sludge Bomb Poison, that's awesome. Uh, really will will keep Sloking on edge with that one. What is our switch into Okie Dogie? I wonder. Sloking. They knock. Okay, I guess we take. Oh, they poisoned us, and that's a that's a badly poisoned. So, oh, that's bad. I guess they can't stay in because they would die to a psychic type move. So we do get a free chili reception unless we double to Heatran and they click knock again. I do not like how this game is going so far. This Okie Dogie is a threat actually. We'll have to Terra something. Okay, double. Let's go. That's a great catch, actually. That's an insane catch. On the Slow King. Yeah, that's beautiful. Now we definitely get to hit something really hard. With knockoff. If I don't know what kind of Hoopa we are, but if we're AV, then we might be able to even uh, take this Okie Dogie's hit and just retaliate with a Psychic type move. Yeah, we, uh, to be fair, Weavile looks really good, but then they have a Scizor. Thunderous actually looks really good, but they also have their own Thunderous, so it's just going to be a 50-50 battle. Uh, their Arcanine looks impressive with all the extreme speed shit, so I don't know how this is going to unfold. Maybe a Terra Ground Hydrapple could win us the game. That could be something if Arcanine is gone. Maybe with Nasty Plot. Not sure. The, the like Arcanine, Okidogi, and Cesar just look so good against our team. So I can't really say what's gonna happen. We psychic nice expecting Okidogi. Okay. Do we have Thunderbolt on this to get rid of this thing? Would be nice if we do. If we're running psychic nice, we're definitely AV. I think. I feel like Thunderbolt is common, especially when Skarmory is in the TN now, but. I mean, it's still, it's really common in OU because of Primarina and, uh, and Carvey Knight mainly. But, I'm not sure if they're running that. I hope they're running it and Thunderbolt kills this Carmery right now. Okay, Thunderous, Arcanine comes in. Do we hit this Focus Blast or do they run Scarf Arcanine? Do they run Sash Arcanine? Do we risk the blast? I mean, I don't see any switches for head smash, so we might as well have to, I feel like. Yeah, I don't see, unless we're Terra Steel or something, even then, I mean, Terra Steel would survive and we'll be able to Thunderbolt it, I guess. They did catch us really well, actually, on the Arcanine double. Come on, okay, we did not risk the focus blast. I Drapple and Okie Dogi. Bad, really bad. What? Heatran. Okay, we got it. We got the Okie Dogi on the Gung Shot. That's great. Are we Willow Wisp on this Heatran? Maybe the Okie Dogi is afraid of that. That's why they're not staying in. Okay, great rocks. Great rocks since they don't have Defog. Well, actually, they do on Cesar. We, on the other hand, don't have Defog. <laughs> Funny. Is that Okie Dogie Scar for some Terra Fairy on the Hyperspace Fury? No, at least we baited their Terra out, but they are able to paralyze the Hoopa. Oh no, that's not great. They stay in to chilly out. We looks like we're no, they slacked off. I mean, looks like we're blocked in. I mean, why would we? Why would we click Hyperspace Fury again, right? We were still faster, so. We should have clicked Psychic Noise, so I guess we're logged in with Psychic Noise, which is kind of weird. Like, are you Scarf with Psychic Noise, maybe? And they bought the Hydra Ball. Oh no, come on. Come on. That's not cool. That's not cool at all, man. Skarmory comes in. 
Draco takes that easily. That might be, I don't know, that looks really bulky. Is that Spadef's car? Since they have terrestrialized Slowking into a fairy type, they don't have any Magma Storm Surgeons right now, aside from Arcanine. So let's see what they'll do here. Arcanine. Oh, let's go! Arcanine is gone! Oh my god, that was goated! That was actually goated! Holy! <laughs> that was goated! Slowking comes in on the Thunderous, but hey, we have a Hydrapple for that, I believe. We are actually also we have a hoopa, okay. Bolt switch. Yeah, that's that's not AV. <laughs> that's not AV for sure. That bolt switch did way too much. I guess we're utilizing hoopa as a sack now because it's paralyzed. Which is great. They did end up clearing bolt switch though, so Thunderous would have been nice, but I guess you don't wanna risk it. I don't know, I mean I have no idea what they click on Thunderous. What happens with when Thunderous is in front of Thunderous, right? So I guess Hoopa was a safer mid ground. Anyway, that was a goated goated uh earth power on the arcanine that thing's gone that means thunderous does not have to worry about hitting focus blast and one less priority against weavile and thunderous which is great gunk shot i guess okay that might that might be scar foki doggy yeah okay so we are we are easily able to deal with that so far we go hydrapple on this always i believe we taunt them and the chili okay 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 they can't chili out now on the switch so they'll have to either double or stay in and scar so we get a free hydra Ooh, we're taking the sloking down oh we're taking the sloking down heck yeah all power kills heck yeah sloking's gone their terror demon is gone and we still have our terror that's that's great thunderous on the thunderous they won't switch nice both thunderous are heavy duty boots i believe so is it going to be a nasty plot now or is it going to be a sludge bomb what are we going to do here it'd be crazy if it's a uh, nasty plot though because the boot set on my caltex says it's just four four attacks focus blast thunderbolt board switch sludge bomb so i don't know if they run uh nasty plot or not but I mean, we're two months up. <laughs> we're literally two months up in the game. I mean, for for sure, Hoopa and Heatran are completely useless. For the most part, are completely useless. Heatran might be able to come in on Skarmory once. Yeah, we sacked the hoop. Weather ball. Okay, a standard weather ball is kind of weird. We sacked the Hoopa. They did not click Wall Switch for some reason. So we get to go for what SD here. No triple axle, that's helmet. That's helmet. But Skarmory will die to the next knockoff at least. Yeah, that's fine. They they'll have to either go Scarf Dogi or Scissor. Scissor it is. I believe Thunder should be able to deal with the Scissor. And I believe we just stay in and try to knock this off because if they stay in to bullet punch us, we might be able to go heat run and get a kill with magma storm or at least chip everything down with magma. Unless we double on oh holy crap that the and we bought this is all let's go. <laughs> oh hell yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah, scissors gone. This game is so jove. We were still alive to come in on this Thunderous and just click Triple X or for free. Does not have to worry about anything. Oh my god, that was such a game. Completely outplayed. The Earth Power on Arcanine, uh, the, the, the <laughs> Taunt on Sloking and Magma taking that down. Thunderous is gone. That's awesome. And now they'll have to lock into Gunk Shot. That means Hydrapple comes in, Terra's into a Steel type, and GG. G fucking G, baby. Let's go 5 4. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. So, this is the final game for HPL Semi Finals. Our score right now is 5 wins to 4 losses. So, if we win this, we are going to finals. And. 
this is double so you i have no idea what is going on here i have no idea about the matchups i do know the team so i might be able to relay some information uh but i i have no clue i have played devils before but that was only for <laughs> like a couple of games a couple of days you could say and uh, i didn't go much higher on the ladder so i don't have the, like high level experience or anything it's just some casual double so you i made a video about it too anyways this whole semi final has been so crazy at one point we were 1 2 3 and now we're 5 to 4 that's crazy we just won like four games in a row or three games in a row after going to four so that will that's just beautiful anyway uh let me load up the team and we'll see what this uh what these pokemon can do 12 seconds later all right so the uh, my teammate decided to lead with Glimora and Excadrill and the opponent decided to lead with Ogre Pond and Iron Hands. And the Glimora is the Sash variant, right, with Spiky Shield, Stealth Rock, Sludge Bomb and Power Gem. Excadrill is Life Orb with 3 attacks and Protect, okay. Fake Out, took some nice chip from that the Spiky Shield. And I mean, Ogre Pond actually just kills everything right here. So are we gonna make a switch? What are we gonna make a switch into though? Maybe, maybe Houndstone? They go into their own Glimmer of Terra Bug to take the IV Cudgel. Okay, Sludge Bomb the Ogre Pond and we crit it. I don't think that mattered. That would have died easily. And the Glimora comes out, which gets a T-Spike up, but we're probably faster and we can get a rapid spin off unless they go Spectria here. We also have a T spike absorber. I mean, if we save Glimora, we just switch out and come back in, right? Well, actually, this is doubles, so maybe maybe the Glimora did not uh, Oko the Ogre Pawn, especially if it's bulky, as they're saying in the in the chat as well. Yeah, okay, every water pawn is bulky, makes sense. So we got a little lucky there, and we crit the the ogre pawn i mean i'm all up for it we want that we want to win the week <laughs> whether it's by hex or by skill <laughs> i don't care we're winning and by the way they want to talk about luck the first game they flinched the the whole iron moth with dark cry they did huh we would have won that game otherwise we also lost the ubers game due to a crit you can cancel that out with the best of three uh, where we got extremely lucky but uh, you know what about the moth crit huh not crit flinch huh <laughs> yeah i mean it doesn't matter it doesn't matter come on that's just pokemon for you right okay titar comes in and they brought a tornado and we got some rocks up nice and then they clip power gem okay okay this is a avt tar so it's gonna take a lot of these heads unless this thunderous is running like focus blast or something not thunderous tornadoes i mean superpower or focus blast one of those i mean you isn't he tornadoes usually just a prankster tailwind has to be right it has to be just pranks or tailwind oh yeah we have our own tornadoes as well actually i just realized what the hell is uh, yeah tailwind protect on bleak wind yeah yeah i mean when i played doubles i also used the tornadoes and it pretty much had the same set it actually had rain dance and bleak wind instead of taunt it had rain dance but the bleak wind tailwind protect and rain dance that was the set i was using anyway uh they took another pair of uh, spiky shield damage on the iron hands and glimora got rocks up on their side okay from i mean their Glim glimora got rocks up on our side i mean so far so good their glimora cannot come back in of course their iron hands is iron hands is chick taking chip and we have all of our mons uh, completely alive and well. Oh 
Ooh, another crit with the sludge bomb, but the drain punched it. Did not give them enough, I believe. And they cannot absorb these T spikes anymore. So Spectrier and Chiyu both are gonna get poisoned. Unless we give unless they're running mortal spin or something. Which I doubt they are. Can't we just go Tornadus and like Bleak Wind Storm here? Well, I guess we're, we're vulnerable to Power Jam. It's like a Houndstone comes out, alright. Last Respects, oof, that move, that move. And the Iron Hands is that too. This, this looks like Jove to me, because I feel like Chiyu cannot do anything as long as Pitar is alive and so can, can't Spectrier actually and Spectrier is vulnerable to Shadow Sneak as well I believe. Terras still exist though, Terras do exist. No wait, 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 we Terrored our x already right? Yeah, we did actually. So they still have their Terra left. Chiyu and Tornadus. Chiyu does get poisoned. Takes 25% from Stealth Rock. Both Pokemon take 25%. That's great. Oh, our teammate disconnected, bro. Bro, why are you disconnecting like that? Huh? Come on. Uh, this is not the time for all that. This is not the time for shenanigans. Uh, they okay they're back they're back they're back they're back they're back I don't know I mean this game looks kind of jover to me but uh, I mean anything can happen I guess they do get a tailwind off snarl lower special attack on both sides power jam tornado still dies so yeah I feel like this might be done here cuz Here's the thing, because we also have Tailwind on Tornadus and their Tailwind will end first and R will remain and will be faster with Kyurem and Houndstone faster than Spectrier and GU I think, so those two should clean this. Yeah, this looks, this looks done, this looks done, I think we have won the week. I mean, <laughs> you might think that I'm not as excited as I was. As I, sh as I should be that we're winning the week but uh, you know like <laughs> going from like 1-3 one, one, to 5-4 and like the 4-4 four, four moment that happened in last game I used all my enthusiasm there <laughs> like that game I was just pogging so hard that game was so intense for this the real reason is that I have no idea what is happening so I'm not able to react that much but I'm still very glad that we have won Hopefully, we lost just last two months actually. But they they they're taking sandstorm. They're taking uh, they're taking uh, poison damage as well. We have shadow snake that would just knock the specter out unless it decides to terrestrialize into a fighting type. Last respects the Chiyu goes down. It shadow balls the hound sword, but Kyurem should be faster. So should. Uh, be tornadoes and it should be done from here on I think well it it would be faster than that wait our Kyurem died I just realized we sagged Kyurem oh we have protect on tornadoes okay our tailwind stays alive and they attack they didn't attack Titar and we got it okay let's go so this is it we are going to the finals of the Hindi Premier League our opponent is not decided yet. The other two semi-finalists will be playing a tiebreaker this weekend. And whoever wins, it's going to be a showdown between us and them. You know, I only joined two team tournaments this year. Even though they're not like official big smog tournaments, they're just two community tours. I'm just really glad about reaching the finals in both the tournaments. Uh, with the help of my team of course like it just feels nice and we'll be trying our best to claim the finals as well and win the tournament get that custom avatar as a reward until then if you haven't watched my bdpl semi-finals video you might want to check that out because that thing was as intense as it can get i'll see you all next time goodbye mm -hmm.